going on, fellas? Man, that was that was a long weekend. So I think I was I was texting you guys. We flew into uh, Danielle and I flew into Charlotte on Friday. Got a rental car. Drove about an hour. I don't know what direction. I guess it was south or east, southeast to uh, Greenville, South Carolina. That's where they had the wedding. Actually, I take it back. That's where the reception was. We were in like we stayed in downtown Greenville. There's a a Westin hotel there and that's where we ended up uh, you know that's where the party was we got a hotel in the same you know right right on Main Street there we were able to walk everywhere the wedding itself was another freaking hour away from Greenville in the small town of Lawrence South Carolina and now that I've been there I understand that the reason the reception wasn't there is because there's ain't nothing in that town except for their one little hometown church. But that's, that's why they got married there. It's their hometown church, very religious people. So I understand. Um, a lot of people showed up at the church. They ended up having refreshments at the church afterwards because a lot of just the congregation showed up. And it was people that I don't even think were invited to the wedding. I don't know. Um, no, we had a good night, though. We had a, actually just a good weekend. Did a lot of drinking. We found a brewery tour for like five bucks. Got to taste a whole bunch of different beers. Uh, they gave us... A free pint glass. I think uh, Thomas Creek, Thomas Creek Brewery or something like that. Um, came back Sunday. That was a bit of a rough flight. I mean, I, overall it was smooth. There was like 20 minutes of turbulence, but it was it was pretty strong turbulence. Felt like the plane was about to fall out of the sky. Uh, went back to work for one day on Monday, and now here I am back on my weekend. So. Uh, I'm doing my favorite thing to do on my day off. I'm going to Costco because I'm out of water bottles and I cannot bring myself to buy water bottles anywhere else because they're so damn expensive. So I'm going out to Costco. I just sent uh, Ashley a text message. That's Justin's wife because she's kind of the pregnancy. The doctor has her home, not necessarily bed rest, but he doesn't want her working. So she's been home a lot. So I figured I, I sent her a text, you know, hey, I'm running down to Costco. You need me to pick anything up. But that, that's, you know, that's it. But I need to make a video because nobody is. And I, I figured it's now up to me to keep this whole thing alive. So um, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, so that was a uh, successful trip to Costco. <laughs> I got water bottles, I got 
I got, uh, they had a party pack, like a summer party pack Sierra Nevada beer. It was all like IPAs and stuff, like a sampler pack. 25 bucks for like 24 bottles. So a couple a couple in there that I hadn't tried yet, so I figured I'd give them a try. Um, Justin actually took off of work on Thursday, so I'll probably, I'll bring some over. He'd been taking off a lot of Thursdays. I, it's, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how he's doing it. I think it has something to do with like his wife being pregnant. So he's probably just milking it, but I don't blame him, I would too. Uh, I was gonna stop and get fast food. Chick-fil-A's open and I'm kind of hungry, but I'm going to resist uh, trying to cut down soda again. I always say it because I drink too much and I always say I'm gonna cut it down and I don't, but I'm really gonna try and I know if I go to Chick-fil-A, you know, chicken sandwich and fries would be one thing, not really good for me to begin with, and then I'm not just gonna drink water with a chicken sandwich and fries, waffle fries, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a Pepsi. So I'm gonna avoid the fast food altogether and go home. I think there's like leftover rice and beans and chicken in the fridge. Um, I bought Kashi granola bars. I really like those, and I got some of those at Costco too. I bought a big pack, so maybe I'll just eat one of those. Um, since it's already getting kind of late anyway, and then that won't put off dinner too late. It's Tuesday, so it is America's Got Talent Day. It's just, Danielle and I have a lot of shows that we watch together. Um, I've really fallen behind on a lot of them, and I told her to keep on watching. Um, Orange is the New Black and stuff like that. So I think she's all caught up. I'm like a season and a half behind. Really, since I moved back down here to West Palm while she was still in Orlando, uh, she got far ahead on all of all of our shows that we were into. But America's Got Talent is one of those week to week that we still, even though we're not living together, we get together and watch it. Um, I usually go over there and I sit with her, you know, her, her and her her sisters. Actually, one sister now, the other one uh, just moved up to UCF or not UCF, sorry, UF. She's up in Gainesville uh, this past weekend. She's starting the summer classes. But it'll be, you know, mom, dad, her, and her sister. So I'll head over there and watch that tonight. Um, and I still got two days off. I got a shit ton of laundry just after like a week and a half worth of work. And then, you know, the weekend out of town traveling. So probably should get that done at some point. But I have a feeling I'm going to just go home and like watch TV. I don't think I'm going to do anything. But... I'll make sure I keep checking back in with you guys. That way we get a whole day's worth of videos since nobody else wants to keep this going. I'm going to have to single-handedly keep it alive. Uh, Alright, yeah, so I'm at a red light. I'm going to switch this off and you guys are going to probably see the truck right in front of me. So I'll, uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. Just in case you guys are wondering, I stayed strong. I drove right past the Chick-fil-A. So we're in the clear now and I'm still on my way home, but no fast food. I'm not gonna pass any more fast food before I get home, so I'm not gonna stop now. Cause I'm not gonna make a U-turn because then I really should probably get gas on this same trip out. I'm not gonna fucking do that, so I'm just gonna go home. Uh, feeling pretty strong right now, cause that was, that was a, it was a hard pull. That chicken sandwich was calling my name, man. I can smell it from here still. 